For the second time in a week, a beachgoer has been impaled by an umbrella. The first incident happened in New Jersey last week. A woman getting hit in the ankle, and just yesterday, a 46 year old woman was injured in Ocean City, Maryland. A gust of wind lifting the umbrella out of the sand, causing it to fly through the air, and the tip hitting a woman in the chest. Captain uh, Butch Arbin with the Ocean City Beach Patrol is live on the phone with us now um, with more. Captain, thank you for joining. Good morning, us. Good morning. Uh, always glad to give a safety message. My goodness, though, this seems so horrifying. Can you tell us exactly what happened and, and, and how widespread this threat is? Because this is the second time we've seen it, though not in Ocean City um, beaches, but in, in the area, New Jersey Beach as well. How, how real is the threat? And tell us what happened here locally. Well, what happened yesterday was at 3 11. A gust of wind picked up an unattended rental umbrella. The umbrella blew uh, from the edge of the water west and hit a woman that was sitting in a chair and pierced her skin. Now, when you say piercing, when I say impaled, uh, to me that's going all the way through. Exactly what was the extent of her injuries? Well, they're non life threatening. Um, she was taken to a local um, regional trauma center. Uh, I haven't heard any update today, but. It was not that serious of a wound, um, although it will need medical attention. The, it did not actually pierce into the ribs or anything like that. So when they talk about impale, it gives the wrong idea, and that's not the way it was. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that clarification. And if, if you can tell us, and I won't ask you to comment on the other um, Im, impaling in uh, New Jersey, but what is the problem here? Is it just as simple as putting those umbrellas deeper in, into the sand? Is there an anchoring mechanism that um, was missing with this umbrella? Well, the truth is that the umbrellas need to be put into the sand about 18 inches. A lot of people just stab them into the sand, spin them around and all that, but you need to rock it back and forth until it's down about 18 inches. And when you finish, tilt it into the wind so that the wind is pushing it in. This particular umbrella, it was the only one that lost its um, position on the beach, so it wasn't a big problem. You asked before how big of a problem this is. There are literally thousands and thousands of umbrellas on the beach every day, and these incidents happen very seldom. Um, you know, there's a lot of other risks in life that are much more Serious than the, right. the chance of being hit by an umbrella on the beach. Even one is too many, but people need to be responsible for their umbrella, know how to put them up. And the beach patrol, the lifeguard on the beach is monitoring. And if we see, uh, like this afternoon with thunderstorms and things like that, where we know there's going to be high wind, we'll remove all umbrellas from the beach. But each beachgoer is responsible for their own umbrella when they erect it. Right. Butch, a real quick question. I, I know you just said that they would uh, be monitoring the situation and might pull them up if the wind starts blowing. Is it possible that any of the beach patrol workers would come and help someone secure that umbrella in, in, no, into we, the ground? We really don't help them put them in. We will instruct them how to do it. Um, these, a lot of the umbrellas.